god. Hello! Welcome back to our channel. We're at the Lancelin Sand Dunes. We are going to go full driving in the sand dunes today. You're going to come for the ride. We're going to let the tires down. It's going to be epic. Yeah. We've read a lot about these sand dunes. Hopefully they live up to the expectation. Let's go. So as you all probably know, when you go to the sand dunes, you've obviously got to let your tires down. So today we're running. Uh, we'll probably go 15, yeah. How good? You probably should have a flag on. We didn't bring ours, unfortunately. But it's not a law in WA. It's not a law. But do as I say, not as I do. You can stop me. All the blood, sweat, and sacrifice. Oh, I pay the dearest price. Then I'll talk a tear for destiny. I'll take a long way proud. Per usual, I'm the girl for the job, the filming girl. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's freaking steep. That's like a full drop off. That's fine. Let me give you some context. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Alrighty. This is the context. This, this is the context. Woo! That's, That's not gunshot. <laughs> look at him go and look at that view. Be my model, Dan. Be my model. <laughs> this bloke down here in the white, he just loves to dig in the sand. So we've nicknamed him the Labrador. It's steep. It's too steep. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, for context of how steep it is. Come on, Danny boy. I feel like this is our only way to do it. I feel like your badge is going to be absolutely mad at you after that. Oh, oh fuck. I f slipped in the top part right before I jumped. <laughs> like on the step that I was jumping. I lost me legs. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. I lost me legs. He's Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> no one's getting the Forrest Gump reference. Oh, God. Oh, got sand everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was so dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at all the oh. sand on your face and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Oh, no. I am sweaty. Look at how sweaty I am. Like, if I haven't got back sweat right now, I'll be damned. If you want to come to Lancelin and spend the day, I think it's like $10 for a few hours if you want to hire some sand boards. Hire them at the sand dunes and not in the town because they're way more expensive there. And they also do quad bike tours and I think quad bike hiring. You can also do a tour around the sand dunes in someone else's four wheel drive.
think I've found a free towel. Does it look good? It's great. Oh my God, let me show you this. Look at that, that's perfect for me. That's actually really nice. <laughs> free towel! What about that one? There's also another free towel, there's two free towels. Oh, and a chalky bar. Chalky bar. And a bear! Yeah. Oh that's my Domino's God, oh my God. It's a Domino's pizza bag. Hold up the other towel so the viewers can see. Whoa, kings! Broom, this is broom. I think it's actually pronounced brummy. It's brome. Brome. The thing is, we will pick these up and take them to the rubbish bin because I'm keeping that's what the we towel. Do. Yeah. But we will. But we will do that. In all honesty, if you see rubbish, anything it might be, pick it up. Mm. Do the right thing. If you want to follow one person on Instagram today, I would highly suggest following Outback Cleanups. Australia. That, oh, Australia Cleanups. Oh Outback God. Cleanups Australia. Outback Cleanups Australia. They are literally traveling around Australia and collecting tons of rubbish every single place that they go. Up to 100 kilos a day of rubbish. Like, they're amazing. Go and follow them. He was a skater boy. He was a skater boy. He was a No, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna get in trouble for copyright. What do you mean? That was you just- think that rendition was so that good? That was so good that I think we're gonna get in trouble. Okay. All right, let's find a big dude. We were like, that one will be too hard. But he's just a professional. Uh, oh. oh! I am getting hammered by sand. We had fun, didn't we? We had so much fun. Did you guys have a good time? <laughs> yeah. So lame, went lame. We had really good sand, like really easy to drive around on, hey? Say if you were someone that wanted to go sand driving for the first time, this would be a good spot for it because the sand's not super slippery. Nah, super soft. Slippery or soft? Yeah, it's good. So now we're just inflating the tires. Also, have you seen this mother of a cold sore that I'm developing? I feel like I'm channeling like Beck from Trip in a Van vibes because I know she also battles some bad cold sores. We're twins. We're back at the caravan park, which we're staying at the Big Four, which is just in the town down from Lancelot. Further south. Because it was cheaper and it has a great pool. And if you know caravan parks, You'll appreciate this. Look at the green grass. If you know, you know. Dad, I just wanted to let you know, I'm looking out for my skin. I've got my rash vest, one piece on. Jake's putting sunscreen on. As always, I'm sun safe. It's pigeon girl. Do a turn for us in your new suit. Do you like my new suit? Oh, give us a blue steel. Double bouncer. Double bouncer. Double bouncer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too old for this. Oh, I'm sorry, don't <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
here every morning. The doors open at 9 a.m. She is here. She's ready to skate with a huge smile on her face. I am super excited to see her in here today. So here's Lily, the 15-year-old, making her second X Games appearance. And she's really putting it together here. Well done on the first go, the first skater in, and she's still going with that front 50 to fakie. That was an incredible way to start Look at this that. contest, Brandon. How is that? Hey, high five. So we've just turned up to this wicked little spot. What are you up to, Lil? Getting some food. Getting some food. So that we can take it with us. Yeah, that's a good idea. How good is this, babe? It's beautiful, isn't it? That's I just lovely. don't know about you, but I just struggle with the brown water and not being able to see the bottom. One go! Well done, high five. <laughs> How good is this? Look at these people coming along. It's like seven of them in a boat smaller than ours. Have a look at this. Oh, just about to start the motor. Yeah. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> That's low. It looks like a cult. The cult, you reckon? Mm -hmm. We just thought we'd catch you up because we haven't really brought you along much today. But we went to a campsite, it was crap. And so then we just sort of went looking on Google Maps to see if there were any cool spots. And we've come across this amazing river, popped the boat in, found a rope swing, and that's us. Yeah, we haven't caught anything yet though. Never any bites. Yeah. Dan much just to, lost his much leader. Much to Dan's displeasure. Lost the tail out the <laughs> We'll probably hang around here for another bit and then we'll head to camp. Hopefully we can find somewhere on the river. Yeah. Update, we are... All packed up. All the packed boat's up. on the roof. The caravan's back on because you have to take the caravan off to get the boat on. Yeah, oh, design other way around. floor. Yeah. Big design floor. But we're both knackered now. Mm. So we're hoping we'll be able to find a free camp. But there's, to be honest, there's not that many free camps around. So we just pulled over at the rest stop and we hated it, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. So anyway, we've decided to go for a little expedition. Yeah. It's very, very rocky. Yeah, for sand dunes, there's a lot of rocks, isn't there? Yeah. Looks like the deserts of Africa. Not that I've been. What, have we locked it in? No, I just went to four, like, just easier on the car when it's steep.
I can tell you now, we're definitely not going to get bogged. Why not? Oh, because it's rock hard underneath. That's a, that's a famous uh, last words. I can't believe you just said that. We always Touch get wood. bogged. Is that it? Is that some kind of fruit? Do you reckon? What is that? Maybe we've made a bad choice. That's pretty steep there. Oh, we'd get up here no troubles, but the van's just so heavy. That's good. That's great. I didn't want to have to get the max tracks off. To all the people that have been commenting and thank you very much. Everyone's been messaging about the traction control. About the traction control. I think I've actually figured it out. The reason it's not turning off is because we've got the van on. Uh, so I think it won't turn off when there's a trailer attached. So I'll show you now, like um, I've got this button here that I hold down for five seconds and then up there in the top left, it's supposed to flash and tell you that it's off, but it never does. But when I take the trailer off, it does. So there you go. So I'm just using, as I replied to a lot of you, I'm just using uh, sport mode and a gear selected and that turns it all off. Yeah, we shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. That's all right. We're bogged. And we're on our own. Flashback. I can tell you now, we're definitely not going to get bogged. End of flashback. So we've been in pickles before, but I reckon this is our biggest pickle. What? We're oh. on our own. Yeah. And it's very soft and we have the van on. That's all right. Happens all the bloody time, I tell ya. I tell ya, I tell ya. All the bloody time. Okay, do you want me to get the max tracks off? No. We're just going to go low. No, I, no, you just need it. Can you let, let some tires down? I'm just out here living my life, getting bogged every day and every night. This is my bogged song. We are bogged, bogged and bitchin', bogged and bitchin'. So it appears we're at the top of a sand dune. Yeah, we are. What do you think? It looks fine to come back out of. We're gonna do it. That's actually so steep. There's some whoops at the bottom. Whoopsie whoops. So quick update, we're hangry and we're grumpy at each other. We're over the sand dune driving and
we're up against the wall. Are we? Yeah. Lucky it's not the side with the awning. After about an hour of hardcore off-road driving, hitting hills like this, we're about to scream at each other. While it may take us a little bit of a time to get out. Oh, shit. I don't know. This is probably the most hectic thing we've done. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. I just can't be bothered anymore. We're just gonna do it. No, 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 Jakey. That's pretty steep. Like there's some pretty significant, significant drop-offs. All right, I'm just gonna stand clear out of the way. Oh, I just can't cope with the van going down there. God, our tires are flat. fine it was the only reason that door opened is because the um and also that's fine that's just our gray water this is a situation <laughs> this is a bloody situation look at the van right now oh god the tv's okay <laughs> look at that tree up there but it's all good. We just had a little bit of a situation because we obviously popped down on the side, but the other door where the bed comes out actually flung open. I love you. I love you too. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. So. We're gonna end, we're leave gonna, you guys there. Because we've just done too much. So we are currently stuck on the top of the hill, mm. but we're gonna end the video there. And we're gonna say thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed. And remember to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Subscribe so you can see us next week and see if we make it down here or not in one piece. And if we make it out of these sand dunes in one piece, eh? Without, can I just say, it doesn't matter if it's in one piece, it's if we kill each other or not. Because mm. I'm up to here with you. Mm. Yeah, I know you are. Cool. All right. All right. We'll um, see you next time.